All right, lastly, let's look at two continuous variables. How can we produce a graphic that visualizes you know, the relationship between two variables that are continuous rather than categorical? So the, the obvious choice here is a scatter plot. Actually, a lot of people start teaching R with scatter plots right away because they're fun to produce, they're easy to understand, um, and also easy to produce. So that, that's what we're going to do right now. Um, we are going to visualize the relationship between the age of students and their life satisfaction, right? So let's go to R and... We're going to follow the same ggplot routine that I've introduced in previous videos. We're going to take the student's data set and then we're going to call the ggplot function and we're going to define in the scatter plot um, h on the x horizontal axis and y on the vertical axis. And um, what's important here is actually to tell R that life satisfaction is a numeric variable because in the way the data comes, it's not a numeric variable, it's actually a character variable. This has caused issues in the past for us, and we've always converted life satisfaction to a numerical variable. You can also do this within ggplot by just calling the s numeric function on life set, and then in this very instant, R will use life satisfaction as a numeric variable. And we'll plot here life satisfaction on the y-axis. So if we run this, um, we just get the plot area here, as you can see, with age on the x-axis and y on the uh, and life satisfaction on the y-axis. Now, the only difference now is that we add geom point. We have used geom histogram, geom box plot, geom bar, and various um, specifications. Now, for a scatter plot, we're going to use geom point, and it's basically um, called point because it's plotting little points on the scatter plots, points that are scattered across this graph, right? So if we run that, see what it looks like. Okay, and we see how that was fairly straightforward, live satisfaction age. We maybe see that slightly, if we drew a line through this, we see that maybe with increasing age, students are more satisfied for whatever reason. We don't really care for this example, but um, we clearly see you know, two continuous variables and their relationship. But we also see there's some odd outliers here, right? We discussed this before. There are some students that are close to 80 years old um, and, and they really skew the whole graphic. So let's try to kick them out and see what the graphic looks like then. We do this with the filter function that you've been introduced way back. Um, and in the filter, we're going to exclude everyone below the age of 40 and um, I'm sorry, we're going to restrict the sample to anyone below 40 and anyone older than 16. Okay, and then we're going to just repeat the same graphic and we, we save this plot in the object scatter1. If we then call scatter1, we see the graphic looks a little different now. Um, and we actually can see a clearer relationship if you exclude those outliers. If we drew a line through this cloud here, we would see that there's a pretty clear relationship that students that are uh, older on average um, are, seem to have a little bit higher life satisfaction. All right, that's, that's a simple scatter plot. And the next week, actually, we're going to really hone in on the scatter plot, um, fine tune its looks, but also add additional variables, uh, add color, add facets, add bubble size, and, and various other things. So something to look forward to.